just linking up right now. <clears throat> okay, we are live. Hi everyone, this is uh, Don Hathaway with Hathaway Dream Vacations, and uh, we'd like to welcome everybody, everybody into another Hathaway Dream Vacations webinar. We're excited to have you with us today because one of our favorite cruise lines is with us today. We have Melissa Nesson from Windstar Cruises, who will be showing us exactly why Windstar is 180 degrees from ordinary. We'll also be highlighting today a, a specific cruise promotion for those planning uh, joining us today. But before we get started, because we know your time is valuable and we're going to try and get this done in about 20 minutes and make sure we answer all your questions. Um, so there will be some questions we'll be asking you. They'll be posted to your right. And if you'd answer those, it'd greatly help us to understand uh, what you're looking for. And, um, and you'll be able to ask questions also to the right there, there'll be, there's a message box that you can type in your questions um, so that Melissa can answer those for you. And at the end, we will, there'll be a link for, um, for you to click on for more information. That'll take you to a place where we can get, you can require, get some more information from us. And uh, with all of that being said, um, let's go ahead and take away, Melissa. Looking forward to hearing about Windstar Cruises, 180 degrees from ordinary. Thank you, Don. I'm excited to be here and thank you for the opportunity to join you all today. So yes, Windstar Cruises, as the tagline says there on your screen, we are 180 degrees from an ordinary kind of cruise vacation. Um, and we are the leader in small ship cruising. And I think from this presentation, you'll, you'll definitely see why we are considered 180 degrees from ordinary. Um, for those of you who are not yet familiar with Windstar Cruises, welcome. Uh, we are headquartered in Seattle, Washington. We have a fleet of small, uh, small cruise ships that are really known for an intimate style of cruising. We like to call it yacht style cruising. And so uh, we visit very unique places, um, some of the most unusual small, small ports and hidden harbors. And 180 degrees from ordinary, it, it really embodies our promise to you um, as our guest of a really truly unique style of cruising. It's upscale. Um, and it's very elegant, but it's very unpretentious. Um, we visit off the beaten track picturesque destinations with our six ships. We have three classic sailing ships and three classic all suite ships. And I'll show you some great pictures in just a moment. Um, the, the different class of ships uh, are unique in design, but they have a very consistent, uh, fun, lighthearted, casually elegant small ship theme. And we carry less than, uh, well, about 310 guests. Usually about uh, about 300 guests uh, would be the max, but we can hold up to 310. Our smallest ships can uh, hold uh, no more than 148. So between 148 and 310 guests. So the ships are large enough to pamper you, but yet they're small enough so that you do feel like you're traveling on a private yacht and you're gonna explore places that the big ships really can't go. Um, we are named the best boutique in the world. If you think of a boutique resort or a, a, a boutique hotel, um, this is a boutique cruise line. So very intimate and very personable, very charming. And we have also been listed on the top 25 most beautiful cruise vessels in the world. All six of our ships are on that top 25 list. So right there, you could see um, an example of our fleet. Uh, so this looks very different than what most people think when you think of the word cruise ship. Um, many of you do think of these big, ginormous floating resorts at sea. And that's great, and that's great for some people. But uh, Windstar Cruisers are looking for something just a little more intimate and a smaller scale. So we do have many of the amenities of a cruise ship, such as uh, smaller, and we hold less people. So that means really no, no lines, no waiting. And it's just, just really, really friendly and charming. Um, but uh, yes, our ships are very beautiful, but the true beauty in Windstar lies in how close we can get you to authentic experiences. Um, very interesting, uh, unique opportunities, such as dining with a, with a family um, in, a, in a village, in their home, or maybe uh, taking a, a tour and seeing, seeing places like a native and uh, visiting places uh, that uh, again, the big ships don't go, don't go to, mostly because the big ships can't fit there. Um, so little small ports, hidden harbors, um, and access to different cultures and far off, far off lands. So our brand mantra says it all. We are invitingly different, 
We bypass the expected and we steer clear of the cliched. We believe in the charm of a hidden harbor, the surprise of a very strange land, and the allure of being immersed in a culture that's far from one's own. And we delight in reaching places that others can't, in igniting the senses and awakening wonder to make that travel experience even more authentic, intimate, and alive. No one else goes so far to get travel close. We are 180 degrees from ordinary, and we are Windstar Cruises. And yes, we are gonna get you closer than you could ever imagine in some of these places. You're literally walking off the ship right into the heart of everything, tiny little villages, going into ancient ruins, medieval alleyways, little quaint marinas, um, unspoiled, unspoiled beaches, um, really, really unusual places. And uh, to enliven your curiosity and, and, and awaken that sense of wonder. And you'll go beyond the reach of ordinary. Um, these are just a tiny sprinkling of some of the magical places that we visit. But for instance, um, the underdeveloped beauty of Little Bay and Montserrat, or uh, the spectacular Pitons in St. Lucia, and divers' paradises in Fakarava, which is an underwater biosphere reserve in Tahiti. Um, we go, we visit the delicate little um, places in, in Iceland, and and uh, we could actually see the tree goats of Morocco, which is really quite an unusual thing to see, and and uh, so on and so so forth. So. Um, again, less traveled waterways, little canals, rivers, all kinds of interesting places. We hug the coastline of, uh, of amazing ports of call. And small ship cruising really does make a closer knit community of travelers. Um, you, you really truly feel like you're traveling with, with friends, with like-minded people. And again, it's made to feel that way, like it's a private yacht with the amenities of a, of a small cruise ship. Um, very attentive personal service, authentic destinations, welcoming cultures not only on board but also ashore, and fantastic exceptional culinary experiences. Um, so as far as our cruise ships, um, we do have the Wind Spirit and Wind Star, which is, um, these are the two smaller wind class ships. They hold no more than 148 passengers. These were named the most romantic cruise ships. And the Star class ships, these look very different. They don't have those tall sails, the others, but these unique is that they are all suites. And the Star Pride, Star Breeze, Star Legend accommodate up to 212 lucky guests. And uh, these are some of the favorite small ships in the cruise industry, just fantastic, one of a kind. And then our flagship, the world's largest passenger sailing ship, uh, ranked best tall ship eight years in a row. She holds up to 310 guests. Doesn't she look fantastic? It's the Windsor. And uh, she does have um, a number of, of wonderful amenities on board, just like all of our ships do. But she has something even more special, which is a, a fantastic award winning gourmet restaurant called Stella Bistro. And that's only on Windsurf, our world's largest sailing vessel. We did add an additional restaurant on Windsurf because we didn't want it to feel crowded since she holds more guests than our other ships. We felt it was important to give an additional dining option. So we could safely say with, with co confidence that on all six of our ships, uh, there are no lines and no waiting for dinner. It's an open seating, relaxed uh, way of dining. And here are some wonderful photos of our, of our accommodations. Isn't this wonderful? Um, as I mentioned, this could really rival um, one of the best hotels or, or resorts, you know, boutique hotels or resorts in the world. Um, beautiful, elegant. This is one of our sailing ships, a bridge suite at 277 square feet. And a comparable stateroom, uh, which would be an ocean view suite on one of our star class ships. Uh, these are also starting at 277 square feet. The star class ships, as I mentioned, are all suites. And uh, they go up in size from 277 to over 500 and some square feet. All six ships, the three with sails, three without sails, feature a water sports platform with complementary water sports comparable to what you see there in the photo. Now that's weather permitting and it depends on the port of call you're visiting. It's only when we're at anchor and it's at most, most ports, uh, but again, it's port uh, and, and dependent and the captain will make that decision when we arrive when we go to anchor. 
that said, is a wonderful experience. All of our ships have an open bridge policy, so the friendliness extends all the way up to the captain and staff captains. You don't have to make an appointment to go up there. Uh, attentive personal service throughout the ship and ex just exceptional culinary experience. So um, here's our executive chef, Grand Cockburn, uh, an award-winning chef. And uh, your meals are cooked to order um, a la minute, and we focus on local and sustainable food selections, and we do have cooking demonstrations and uh, complimentary cooking classes available. We, are named, we have been named the official cruise line of the James Beard Foundation, um, which is an American cuisine foundation created to, to recognize and celebrate chefs, culinary writers, restaurateurs, and the sommeliers who advance American culinary arts. So we're really thrilled. This is our second year uh, of, of being named the official cruise line of the James Beard Foundation. So who are Windstar Cruisers? Well, hopefully that would be you. We hope you hope to see you on board. Most of our passengers, uh, for the most part, are couples, married couples, traveling with other couples. We're named. We were no, named as the best for honeymoons, most romantic, best for romance, uh, and most romantic cruise line. So uh, yes, we do cater to couples for the most part, um, but we do get some singles as well. Uh, folks that are really destination focused, um, active adults, for the most part, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, which is a pretty wide range of age group. Uh, but we do get younger adults as well, and we do get some more seasoned cruisers as well. Um, it's more of an active mindset than um, an age group, really. Um, but it really depends on the itinerary. The, um, the Caribbean and, the, and Tahiti do tend to attract a little bit younger, uh, younger clientele. But overall, we could say that they're unassuming upscale travelers, um, folks that are into, the, into food and wine, um, that are oftentimes members of country clubs, golfing clubs, yacht clubs, uh, folks that have been on river cruises and are just looking for something different because there's only so many rivers to go around, right? <laughs> and uh, small ship cruisers and really big ship cruisers who are looking for something more intimate. And a lot of our clients, a lot of our guests don't even consider themselves cruisers at all. They say, oh, you know, we're, we're really not typical cruisers. Well, that's great because uh, this is not the, the typical cruise line. <laughs> so those, those folks usually tend to think of themselves more as travelers than tourists. And a lot of our guests uh, these days are multi-generational families interested in unique experiences. And uh, so I hope that um, you, know, you may uh, bring your family on board and, and set sail with us. So we, we do, uh, we do um, have families sailing with us. We don't get too many young children, but, but we do accommodate families with children age eight or above. Life on board is beyond ordinary, and here's a listing of things that are included. As you can see, there's more included than not. Uh, so we do, as I mentioned, have, go to great, have great itineraries. They're designed to avoid docking on the same day as larger cruise ships, so that's really, really quite great. Um, we have a champagne reception as you first walk on. All of our sailaways from everywhere we leave from in, in the entire world, we have a sailaway celebration with great music. We do have an on-deck barbecue, which is a wonderful, wonderful feast. Um, we do have local performances on board, most of our sailings. As I mentioned, the open bridge, uh, great staterooms, great meals, 24-hour room service. All of your non-alcohol beverages are also included, including um, specialty teas, soft drinks, soda pops, that type of thing. Market tours with the chefs to cuisine in select sailings. You can go right ashore and help the chefs pick out all the fresh ingredients for the meals. And uh, I showed you that great picture of our water sports platform, weather permitting, and the usage of all those great sports. Um, again, more things are included than not. So all these great things are also included in your cruise fare. And yes, we do have nightlife. Uh, some folks assume because it's a small ship that it's going to be extremely quiet in the evening, but we do have dancing in the Compass Rose. We do have live music at the Star Bar. We will offer entertainment, um, not only great lectures and port talks and enrichment presentations, but uh, all kinds of other great things as well. Don't miss the disco dance party with the crew. Uh, make sure you uh, uh, check that out. That's a lot of fun. And also our crew talent show, not to be missed. 
Uh, we do have a, a casino. It is small, but these are small shifts. Um, they are open late into the evening. Um, we have a 24-hour fitness center and so on and so forth. So many of our itineraries also feature extended evenings in port and some overnights in port. So you could also enjoy the nightlife ashore as well. So um, in addition to our great itineraries, you can also customize your vacation and Hathaway Dream Vacations can assist you with um, air travel and transfers, hotels, uh, pre and post hotel, um, including, as you see in that photo, the overwater uh, bungalows that we offer in Tahiti. Um, so that's, that's a, a bucket list item for a lot of people, so, so don't miss it. Um, in addition to the pre and post hotel package, for wonderful land uh, land tours and excursions. Um, uh, we offer travel protection and all kinds of other things to help you customize your vacation. Um, so as I mentioned, all of your non-alcohol beverages are included. Your alcohol beverages would not be included in your cruise fare, but you can certainly purchase a very, very reasonable, reasonably priced uh, alcohol package depending on your needs or you could visit um, one of the cocktail bars and that would be a la carte. So where do we go? Well, it's safe to say we go almost all over the entire world. Right now, these are our embarkation ports for 2017 and 2018. Most of this is pretty up to date with the exception of some changes that may need to happen in the Caribbean um, due to some recent uh, weather uh, situations. But uh, as you can see, we are almost all over the world and uh, the list of places that we visit keep growing. We go to right now over 255 ports of call and you can see a, a number of the regions that we do visit. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a very authentic experience visiting hidden gems, hidden gems that only small ships can access. And uh, these are some amazing pictures on the right. You could see an example of one of our destination discovery events which we do have on most of our sailings, which is a complimentary dinner or lunch ashore uh, with great local entertainment. And that one happens to be in the ruins of the Celsius Library in Ephesus, Turkey. And we're always exploring, always going to new places. Um, right now we have just announced 49 new itineraries, if you can imagine, 49 brand new itineraries in addition to what we've been offering in 2017. And some of those itineraries include some amazing Caribbean destinations, private beaches, island hopping, private yacht style. We're in the Caribbean in the late fall to the early spring. We'll have four ships in the Caribbean. Uh, and uh, the itineraries pretty much change uh, almost every week. So uh, we very rarely repeat the same itinerary week to week. So if you're looking to do some really great uh, island hopping, you could even consider extending your, your cruise vacation and purchasing one um, either before or after your, your itinerary. So um, again, we, we very rarely repeat the same itinerary week to week, so it's always something different. And uh, this is a sampling of our, of our Caribbean itinerary, the Yachtsman Caribbean, Gems of the Leeward Island, going into the Virgin Islands, um, Southern Caribbean, Windward Isles, and uh, so on and so forth, and the star collectors, which I mentioned, those are the back-to-back -back voyages if you're interested in the, in the longer cruise. And we have great diving and snorkeling programs throughout. throughout. So uh, most of the Caribbean right now is uh, extremely vibrant and attractive even after the recent storms. Um, so most, thankfully, most of the Caribbean was untouched. Uh, we in invite you to come aboard one of our amazing Caribbean itineraries. And these are going to places the big ships usually pass right by. So Hathaway Dream Vacations is, uh, has organized an exciting seven-day Caribbean voyage, which is going to be departing on March 24th of next year. Uh, the Yacht Men's Caribbean is the title of the voyage, or Yacht Women's Caribbean. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be going to amazing places. So yes, there are still secret places in the Caribbean that only the, the yachters and boaters know about, places the big ships just pass right by. Uh, really fun places where there's only one beach bar in sight and everyone will love to know your name. <laughs> and our beautiful Windsurf, our world lar the world's largest passenger sailing ship, is the ship that will be doing the uh, Yachtman uh, Caribbean for uh, Hathaway's group in, in March. And uh, there's going to be some really great experiences planned. Now, the actual details of this Caribbean itinerary um, 
have unfortunately have been modified slightly due to some of the uh, recent um, uh, with with Hurricane Irma. Some of the ports are currently not yet accepting cruise traffic. We do suspect that by March, um, these places are pretty resilient, and most of the places in the itinerary will be able to accommodate the windsurf. But right now, the actual itinerary, which you could look on Windstar's website for the current itinerary, but those are subject to change. So um, the Hathaways will be uh, posting the itinerary just as soon as it's available, probably within the next couple of weeks, if not sooner. But it will be a unique Eastern Caribbean itinerary, um, unusual places for beach combing, scenic cruising, island hopping, and more. And we know that it's gonna be on the windsurf. It's a seven night cruise vacation. And the prices right now are extremely attractive starting at about 1900 per person, 1914, which it does include the, uh, the cruise taxes and fees. And uh, right now we are offering some additional um, incentives. They have the way to have generously um, put together a, a group with um, $100 per person shipboard credit amenity for those guests who join this fun and friendly group. For March 24th. So again, if you're interested, you can reach out to the Hathaways, let them know that you are interested in that cruise, and they can certainly share with you the exciting handcrafted itinerary that we are putting together um, for the Windsurf March 24th. So just a few, just a few moments. I want to tell you a little bit about the Windsurf. It is unlike any other cruise. The shallow draft of the ship is ideally designed to tuck into charming and exotic. Caribbean harbors that are inaccessible to larger ships. Um, you can check this out on our website, but this gives you an idea of the ship. Um, there are six decks. Uh, we have the spa. We have a signature shop. Signature shop. Excuse me. Um, uh, various bars, fitness center, all kinds of really great amenities as well. And here's a photo of our lounge where you can see great shows and get some great cocktails. We do have a uh, we call this the, the Yacht Club, which is where you have um, gourmet snacks and sandwiches. And um, it's always a nice place for socializing. Here's our dining area, Am Amphora. This is on all, of, all six of our ships. Very lovely, never crowded. You can also dine al fresco outside. It's very lovely for, uh, for breakfast and lunch. And then at dinner, that area for dinner, that area becomes Candles, which is a lovely intimate place to dine in under the stars, under the moon. In addition, uh, we have uh, Stella Bistro, which is only on Windsurf, and uh, that is a gourmet uh, French-inspired uh, cafe, and uh, that's only on Windsurf. That's really special to Windsurf, and no wonder Windsurf was named the number one best cuisine in the small ship category by Cruise Critics this year. Very exciting. Here's Compass Rose, uh, our, one of our signature cocktail lounges. And for those cruise buffs, uh, and I know some of you are just really into cruising, as I am, so you may be interested in hearing a little bit more about the ship. She has 122 deluxe ocean views, 31 uh, deluxe ocean view suites, two deluxe ocean view bridge suites. Uh, we have an international staff of 201 passengers. Again, we hold no more than 310 guests, so it's an amazing guest to staff ratio. Uh, so that's how we're able to really pamper you and know, in many cases, know what you want before you even know it. <laughs> Uh, the ship is under 15,000 tons. She has seven sails, um, five masts, and no, we won't make you work for your food because uh, these these, uh, these sails are computer operated, but you certainly could go up to the bridge and see how that is done. Uh, we don't rely on wind power. We are a diesel and wind hybrid, but when the conditions are just right, the captains will love to cut those engines and we'll just glide and it'll be absolutely fantastic. So here's an overview of the ship. You can see this as well on our website for the various type of cabins and their location. And again, just to recap, the Windstar experience on all six of our ships is a very intimate small ship fleet, attentive service, authentic destinations, great cultural experiences, and also culinary experiences. So doesn't that just sound, sound amazing? <laughs> I, I certainly think so. Well, we hope to see you on board, and uh, I would, would recommend that you please contact the Hathaways, the Hathaway Dream Vacations, for more details about this and other exciting cruises that we have available. And don't forget to also ask about our seven for seven deals, which come out every Thursday. Those are seven sailings that are on sale for just seven days or until they run out. 
um, but the Hapoids have secured some exclusive pricing on the March sailing of the Windsor. Uh, so I certainly, um, it's on March 24th, and I certainly hope that you'll join us on board. So thank you so much for your time, for your attention, and uh, thank you for your interest in Windstar Cruises. Well, thank you, Melissa. That's it is truly amazing. I I know I've been on the uh, Wind Spirit in Tahiti, Joanne and I, and uh, we were on the, one of the uh, Star Class yachts in the Mediterranean with you. And that was a yeah. a lot of fun. Um, Joy the Chef uh, Market, going out with the chef. That was a great time. Um, but Tahiti was was one of my favorites. I got to say, that's there's no other way to sail or go through the Polynesian Islands, but on the Wind Spirit. That's the best way to go. Um, so, in because of the timing here, we're going to go ahead and get to the questions. And uh, uh, Christina Hathaway, who's running the board for us, is going to be putting the link up, or if she has already done that, an op for the offer that you can click on and go to um, a form to fill out if you want more information and be a part of this March uh, sailing, or if you just need more information on any of the sailings that Windstar has. Uh, be happy to help you with that. Um, so, as far as questions go, I know that we get a lot of questions. We're waiting for some to come in here. Uh, Melissa, um, we always see the pictures. Everybody's dressed up, wearing suits and ties. What is the what is the acceptable dress code you know, for dinner and for just being on board the ships? Sure. Well, that is a question that we get asked a lot. And on Windstar, uh, on all six of our ships, it is a casually elegant uh, decor and and theme. So you know that that sort of you know that means something different to to most to different people, but. Um, you know, we we don't off, we don't make you dress up. We don't require you to dress up. But if that's important to you, that is great. If you're celebrating something special and you want to dress up, absolutely, why not? But this is a different type of cruise, so there are no formal nights. We don't require dinner jackets. Um, you know, we don't require tuxedos. It's just a different different type of atmosphere than the larger cruise ship that you have these structured formal nights so right. um, you know so this this is really up to you this is really okay. up to you we just we do rec we do recommend you know no shorts for dinner in the dining room uh, maybe nice jeans if they're really nice but most 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 folks uh, probably wear more you know just uh, maybe some business casual type type clothes but that's right. really up to you Okay. No, I remember I was wore slacks and polo shirts or slacks and a button down shirt is, perfect. is quite appropriate, especially if you're in the Tahitian Islands. I mean, oh, yeah. um, the other thing you said, we're talking about family friendly. It is a family fr friendly um, sailing ship. You, you mentioned uh, an age mm -hmm. thing there, but uh, you do get a lot of people on that do bring their children. I mean, there are quite a few, uh, I think, that would enjoy that. Yes. Yes, um, we are family friendly. We encourage families to come aboard, but it really has to be a, a special type of family where the kids don't need, you know, lots and lots of, of activities on board because we don't have babysitting and we don't okay. have kids camp. So it's, it's really during the day, for the most part, you're <clears throat> off the ship sightseeing and touring and having fun anyways. And we have the water sports platform and select ports. So, you know, there, there, there's, for the most part, during the day, you're off the ship, and in the evening, you're dining, and, and there's entertainment. So, you know, you're, it's not like a traditional cruise where you may have those, you know, couple days at sea back to back where you really need a lot of stimulation for the kids. So, uh, you know, but uh, a lot of families these days, the children are already very well traveled and enjoy you know, this type of thing. Uh, and so, yes, we do, we do encourage you to bring children um, age eight and above is typically what we what we see on board. Okay. And uh, I I know because I've been on a couple Windstar cruises that the the ports we sail into are very small, very intimate, and we got to see a lot of exciting um, history and just uh, the small quaintness of the villages and such that, that we went to. So it is a wonderful way to travel. Um, it is an active kind of a travel, though I would think is um, with people are asking about wheelchair accessibilities and such like that. Um, I know I was on the Spirit, and I don't. I, you know, it'd be difficult to get around some of the places. So is it a, are the star class a little bit better as far as that goes, as far as accessibility for wheelchairs? Well, yes, yes. Um, all, all six of our ships were built in an era where unfortunately they didn't have a lot of modified staterooms in the ship's designs. Um, so it's really important for you to let Hathaway bring the cases know if you or your, your, your guests with you um, do rely on a mobility device, a wheelchair scooter, that type of thing. Um, of our six ships, um, we do have elevators 
um, on all three of the Star Class ships and also on the Windsor, uh, which is the okay. ship that the Hathaways have their Yacht and Caribbean group going on. Um, so, so yes, um, we don't have elevators on the two smaller ships um, on board. And there are no elevators to get on or off any of our ships. So you, if you, you know, you would have to be able to walk up some steps to get on and off the ship. Okay. Uh, but once you're on board, there are elevators on um, on on four of our ships. Okay, the um, we have a couple of questions that did come in uh, uh, regarding dining options. Um, do they cost extra? I know you're talking about candles. Is that an extra charge for the? It is not. All, all of our meals in all of our venues, no matter if it's a, our regular main dining room or our alternative dining, that's all included. So there are no service fees for any of our dining options. Um, so candles is complimentary. Um, uh, we, and offer, we offer al fresco dining um, with a really great menu of grilled seafood and steak um, right, right under the stars. So, uh, yes, we encourage you to visit Candles. When you do um, check in for your cruise, they will ask you if you would like to make reservations for Candles in advance, just because it is a very intimate dining area. And uh, But you can dine there as many evenings as you like, and there's, again, no, no additional cost whatsoever. Okay, great. Um, and another question came in about uh, the drink packages. You were mentioning that you can buy drink packages. They want to know, is it um, is it less expensive is it cheaper to book to buy that when you book your cruise or is it the same on board is there a advantage to booking ahead of time with the drink package sure there are a, a couple different drink uh, package options um, that's something new that we just released a couple different options um, so depending on your needs um, we recommend purchase pre-purchasing that because it's a convenience then you have one less thing to think about when you get on board the ship and um, and so the Hathaways can certainly help you with that, and they can let you know what the various options are. Uh, you know, some are you know all all the different beverages. Some are just wine. It really depends on what your needs are. But um, you know if you um, if if you you know if you're if you're expecting to probably drink five or six drinks a day anyways, <clears throat> um, then I think these drink packages are a great value. Um, okay. if, you, if you're undecided, you certainly could purchase those on the ship. That's the same price, but you know, my opinion is just you know make it one-stop shop and you know, let, let the Hathaways assist you and take care of everything. All, so then all you have to do is have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it looks like you know we're running a little over our time, so I am. Um, I want to close it up with just um, saying thank you, Melissa, please, you know, for coming in and joining uh, joining us today and sharing all that wonderful information with us. Uh, we really appreciate your time, and uh, we really appreciate Windstar Cruises, one of our premier partners. And um, if anybody has any questions, if you look to the right, you'll see that there is a place where you can click to um, register to get more information, and uh, we get right back to you with any of your questions you might have offline or, or a call if you want to have a private uh, dream vacations consultation we're more than happy to call you and sit down and do that uh, but just click on that link and fill out the registration form and we'll get right back to you um, again Melissa thank you very much for joining us today and sharing all this information and we want to thank all of our dream vacation clients and new clients and friends that joined tonight too and um, everybody have a great and wonderful rest of the day and we'll be seeing you soon.